Let's talk about waterfall charts and stack waterfall charts. Waterfall charts and stack waterfall charts are very useful for showing variance as you start. In this case, we have the operating income for a company that has two divisions in the United States and Canada, 2020 and 2021 fiscal operating. And we have the net quarterly operating income changes in both regions. So in 2021, in US, the sum of the starting point and the net changes gives us the ending data point for US and the same for Canada. If we want to use the waterfall chart that is automatically generated by Excel, we just create, select the data, go to insert, click on waterfall charts, and insert the waterfall chart. We then have to make some adjustments. And for the adjustments, we click in the area, the format chart area window to here. We double click the starting point bar and click set as total. We implement the same for the final ending data point, which is 2020 fiscal year and set as total. And our increases are shown in the blue bar and decreases in the orange bars. And the starting and end point are gray. So we have the chart, the waterfall chart, and we can also edit the title and put it as US operating income waterfall chart. But this waterfall chart does not allow for addition of Canadian division. We can only add one column at a time. In order for us to select both columns and show both values in different colors in a waterfall format, we have to use that column chart. And let's see how we can do this. In order to use the stack column chart to generate the stack waterfall chart, we have to prepare the data. We have to add several columns in between. The first column we have to add is a starting point, data point and the ending data point. So the starting data point is 230 million, which is the sum of 2020 fiscal year and operating income in both regions. And the ending data point, which is the end in 2021 fiscal year and fiscal values. We then have to add several columns in between for increases to values and decreases to the values of, from the starting point, which is basically the net changes. But we show increase and decrease in separately. And because we're using a stack column chart, we have to add a beginning balance in each quarter. So which if I we really click on this, we can see there is a beginning balance in each quarter that we have to, is which is shown as an invisible bar. And we have to add this bar as a separate column, which is a beginning balance. Let's look at the formulas and the values in these columns. So the beginning that the starting point is just the sum of the twenty values. The beginning balance in each quarter basically is the starting data point that we had or the beginning balance of the previous quarter or the previous value plus the increases in the previous quarter minus the decreases in the current quarter. It's important that we're including the decreases of the current quarter and we're including the increases of it. You can see the formula. Same for the beginning balance, say in the fourth quarter, it's the beginning balance of the prior quarter plus the increases of the quarter prior quarter minus the decrease. The reason that we increase the decreases is because decreases start with an ending point and then we decrease the value. For the increases and decreases of the regional operating income, we can use a very simple formula that if the value in that quarter is positive, so we're showing it the value is positive, which returns a true or false, we create a Nine, we can see true times the value of the cell. So if this is a one times the value of the cell, value. and if it's negative for the decreases, we show that if it is negative, then it returns a one. But this value is not negative, so it actually returns a false. So it'll be zero. It's a false. So it returns a zero. We we implement the same for the Canadian division and. The increases in the Canadian division decreases. So there are some zeros in, in between here and I will show you how we plot this data. These zeros, if we add data labels, these zeros will show up in the bars and we will then delete the zeros. 
So let's select the data that you have now prepared, which is the start and ending point, the beginning balance, which will be an invisible bar, and it increases and decreases. We select our data, including the dates. Insert that column chart. Themes are bars and call our x and y axis is flipped. So we select the data and we just switch it. So now this is what the stack column chart is looking like. So if I make it bigger, let's see how we can edit this. First is at the start and ending point, we want it to be different colors. So we click on the region for the format plotter to show up, click on the bar, click on fill, and want it to show up as a gray bar. Same thing for the ending data point. The beginning balance, which is orange in this case, would be the invisible bar. So we click, fill, we say no fill. So now this is all a, a invisible, and we're, we're seeing our increases in. The next is click on the blue, which is increases in Canada. And in this case, the increases are Canada. We would like to show it as a red, so fill, show it as a red bar. We have to show the entire series, show it as a red bar. And for decreases in Canada, which we have in green bar, we would like to show it still as a red bar, but with a gradient fill or with a pattern this way. So now we're seeing increases and decreases. For increases and decreases in the U.S. region, gray bar, which select the entire. We would like to use a blue in this case. And do we have any decreases in the U.S.? We do. So the decreases will be a pattern fill, but we would like it to be blue. So now we have the increases and decreases for the U.S. region. The balance, we will then delete the legends. Balance. The beginning balance legend, starting balance legend, which we don't need to show it, and the ending balance legend. So now we have increases, decreases, and the starting and end point. And we can insert the data labels by clicking on the press and click data labels. Now we can see the data labels. The invisible bar we delete because we don't want to see the data labels for the beginning balance. So now we can see if we notice we're seeing these zeros. That's why. Previously, we said once we prepare the data, we go in and we delete the zero. So in each column, those are four columns that we don't have a negative or positive in that specific order. So now the zeros have disappeared. Now to make this more presentable, we can change the axis starting and ending point. So we can put it as, say, 150, sorry, 350. So we can see we're starting at 230, and it got back to 40. We're seeing the increases and decreases in the US for the blue bars, and the increases and decreases for Canada in the red bar. We can also change the title. Here we can actually use a formula equal operating income and bold it. And we can even move this legend. So the stack column chart is more flexible, it allows for a stack waterfall chart with multiple columns. We just have to pre the automatic waterfall chart using the Excel built in waterfall chart is much quicker, but it does not allow for multiple columns.